good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video. We are starting the new look rebuilds today. All these teams look a little bit different around the NBA, so I kind of want to do some new look rebuilds. Keep in mind, these will be realistic because that's what you guys voted for in the poll. I did uh, five random teams on a wheel and uh, Grizzlies and other teams popped up and you guys voted for the Grizzlies first. So, you know, recent, uh, very interesting the team uh, to start with. But guys, I also want to just point out that we are, we are getting really close to our goal of reaching 5,000 subs before the end of the month. That would be absolutely amazing. I'm going to be doing a giveaway as soon as we reach 5k. So if you have not subscribed, make sure to do so. Also leave a like if you enjoy the video. So remember, these are realistic rebuilds. Some of these trades you may not agree with. Some of you guys may think they're not realistic enough. That's fine. We can agree to disagree. Not everything is going to go your way. Not everything is going to go my way. So uh, let's just all, uh, you know, remember that. But other than that, guys, the Grizzlies are kind of on a rebuilding path. And I got to say, for a team that's rebuilding, they're not, they're not looking too bad at all. Uh, Andrew Iguodala, uh, first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and buy him out. The way you do that is you just release him to free agency and you're, and then basically it just, it, it honestly is just like you bought them out. So yeah, I'm going to re uh, release Iguodala because I don't expect him to be on the roster uh, before the season starts. I have all the injuries on correctly, so that's good. Uh, Dwight Howard, I'm not sure if the Grizzlies have officially bought him out yet, but they're expected to. Uh, they did get Josh Jackson in a recent trade as well, which I did like that for him because Josh Jackson, you know, may just need a change of scenery. Uh, he does not go down. I thought he maybe went up at shooting guard, but he does not. So as far as the starting five is concerned, I'm just kind of curious what it looks like right now. Uh, Taylor Jenkins is the head. Is that even the real head coach in real life? I'm not sure about that, but because uh, I just downloaded this roster. Let me. Um, I don't think is he the head coach in real life? Taylor Jenkins. I gotta look that. I gotta look at that after the video or once I uh, start simulating. Maybe it is. But uh, here is the nine man rotation that we got right now. So we have John Morant, Grace Allen, Jay Crowder, Jaron Jackson Jr., Jonas Valanciunas. Josh Jackson come off the bench, Kyle Anderson come off the bench, Dylan Brooks, and Bruno Caboclo. So, of course, we have a lot of players coming off the bench that are a lot of uh, the same positions everywhere. So, um, definitely kind of want to fix that a little bit. I know Dylan Brooks actually goes up at small forward. Um, I might eventually move him there. Jay Crowder, I kind of, he probably won't be here. Is he on a one-year deal or a two-year deal? He's on a one-year deal. So, somebody I definitely would want to trade by the trade deadline. But my goal today is obviously win a championship, but I got to do it in the most realistic way possible, which is kind of challenging for teams like this that are kind of on a rebuilding path. So um, I'm just kind of evaluating the roster for a second. But I'm going to go ahead and move Dylan Brooks to small forward because I know for a fact he goes up to like 78, I think, or 77. All right, that's good. And then uh, Jay Crowder is definitely going to be a trade candidate at the trade deadline. No reason to keep him here uh, for nothing. And then Dylan Brooks is going to need to be extended as well. Kyle Anderson is someone I could see myself trading. Ivan Robb, Grayson Allen. Uh... Do I want to, you know, play Josh Jackson? Let me see. Let me see some real quick. Do I want to potentially uh, Grayson Allen? Do I want to send him to the G League? Let me. Let me just go ahead and see what this. Uh, if this messed up anything. So, uh, John Morant and Grayson Allen are the. St I honestly don't want to start Grayson Allen. I kind of want to experiment Josh Jackson, the shooting guard, a little bit. Uh, maybe I don't yet. Actually, I'll probably start Josh Jackson at uh, the trade deadline, maybe, and then uh, Grayson Allen. As far as him starting at the shooting guard spot, uh, I guess. Tyus Jones was recently signed. Dylan, I'm going to start Dylan Brooks with the shooting guard. What am I saying? So let's start Dylan Brooks there. And then uh, let's have Grayson Allen not get any minutes at all. And let's move him down a little bit. And then we'll probably give Brand or Ivan Robb these last few minutes. Let's go give him about, uh, you know, 13, 14 minutes, 8, 16. And then let's give uh, Dylan Brooks about 30. Uh, let's give, you know, Jaron Jackson some more minutes. Jonas Valanciunas. Uh, Josh Jackson, give him about 29. And we'll roll with that for the season. And then we're going to go ahead and send uh, Brandon Clark and Grayson Allen to the G League. Because it's going to be very hard to win a championship without using the G League to my advantage. So, sorry if you guys hate, you know, the rebuilders that use the G League. But, I mean, kind of have to in this situation. So, I'm going to go ahead and to the end of the season. Probably going to trade uh, Jay Crowder at the trade deadline. Probably won't get much for him. Maybe like a second round pick. I'll go ahead and recap it with you guys once we get to the end of the season. Not expecting to make playoffs this first season. But let's just go ahead and see how John Morant and Jaron Jackson do together this first season. Nothing else. John Morant did win Rookie of the Year, which is nice. 24 points, 8.8 .8 assists, 2 steals, uh, 50, 80, and 39% from the field everywhere across the board, which is very nice. Spencer did when he was your sixth man. Probably helped a lot that Kevin Durant was out for the season. So, And Coach of the Year goes to Doc Rivers. So I did end up trading Jay Crowder. I'm going to go ahead and recap that trade with you guys right now. I thought it was somewhat of a realistic trade, so... If I can find it, there it is, transaction report. So we basically got, uh, this was kind of the trade that happened. So Jay Crowder, I know there's a lot of picks involved, but just bear with me, I'll explain it to you. So Jay Crowder from Mo Harkless. Mo Harkless is going to be expiring contract. Jay Crowder definitely is a better player than I, I think than Mo Harkless, in my opinion. You guys uh, may not agree, but uh, 
two second rounders on my end actually it was a pick swap so basically we got two second rounders for uh jay crowder and we got Merle harkless's contract in return which like i said it'll expire after the season but one pick swap and we got two second round picks so basically we got two second second round picks for jay crowder which is nice we did extend dylan brooks as well i tried to extend ivan raw but i didn't want to give him too much money so uh you know that was all right but as far as uh, everything else obviously we didn't make the playoffs went 38 and 44 which isn't too bad i'm pretty sure boston has a grizzly pick i'm not sure what the protections are on it something maybe i should have researched but that's all right so we have denver and los angeles and the second round we have golden state and los angeles clippers the second round as well philly and brooklyn boston and milwaukee uh the knicks are always making the playoffs in these videos guys i don't know why because i don't think they're gonna make it in real life obviously they do have kind of a nice team across the board if it rj barrett and julius randall you know maybe could just be both 20 point per game scores maybe just maybe the knicks could make it but i don't know man that's a that's a lot that's a lot to ask for of those two but denver nuggets milwaukee bucks and it looks like the nuggets are gonna win the championship and they win it so maybe that trade for germany grant is very uh useful but now let's get into the offseason this is where we can start making some moves but of course like i said we got to be realistic with these moves so like i said i'm not sure what the protections are on the grizzlies pick uh celtics via memphis so i'm not sure is a lottery protected but we didn't get it uh someone can tell me down in the comment section below what the uh, protections are on it jenkins i'm gonna go ahead and fire like a lot of my staff taylor jenkins i'm going to fire him as well just because i don't like his uh ratings uh, we can go let's go ahead and get uh roy williams and let's get uh let's get yeah let's just get david clark i guess our assistant nick van exel i am uh, not gonna keep him around and i'll go ahead and get him as well so let's sign all of those guys and our staff looks a little bit better there and now for the nba draft like i said we don't have our pick but we should we do have a second rounder so i'm going to go ahead and you know try to get something here in the second round that might be able to help us and uh let's see what we got here so the 24th pick overall we get flip Petrusev malcolm uh let's get an overseas player sergi martinez from spain why not i don't know who that is but we you know we got him so james wiseman went number one lamo ball went number two and anthony edwards went number three and rj hampton went number four to the wizards so maybe the wizards looking to move on from uh john wall they took wang zell who is it wang zeal i don't even know who that is and i don't know why he's on my roster but um okay we'll go ahead and accept him player options grayson allen definitely gonna bring back josh jackson gonna bring back and uh, let's go and look at player stats though that we did have i didn't really check that out so here are the player stats we had like i said 24 points from john Morant, 15 from um you know valentunas jaron jackson had 15 and josh jackson had 12.7 i honestly thought so the jay jackson's are together which is interesting ivan rob and yeah so not too bad at all but like i said now we want to get into the real stuff ivan rob i wouldn't mind bringing back the anthony melton i guess if the price is right i wouldn't mind bringing him back either but we have negative five million dollars Miles Plumley we've got to renounce. Uh, Mo Harkless we can renounce. Uh, Utah wannabe. I know probably one of most of you guys you two wannabe. Actually, I wouldn't mind bringing him back because I think he is a very good player in the summer league. Uh, I have heard of it. Have heard his name. Oh, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to go. Okay, so this is what we got. So we got Tyus Jones and John Morant at the point guard position right now. Grayson Allen is going to be could be my starting shooting guard if I want him to be. Dylan Brooks, Josh Jackson, Kyle Anderson. So I really don't see a position for Kyle Anderson anymore. I kind of want to go forward with Josh Jackson and uh, Dylan Brooks at the small forward spot. So um, I don't, okay, I just like totally did not mean to do that. So let's go back to what I was doing. Brandon Clark is back now. So he's going to be a nice backup power forward. And then we have Jonas Valanciunas. And now this guy, Wang Zeeland. I don't know where he came from, but welcome to the Grizzlies, I guess. Uh, definitely wouldn't mind bringing back Ivan Rob, but... I think the first thing is to find a trade partner for uh, Kyle Anderson. Only 26 years old. So uh, I'm not sure where I'm going to trade him to just yet. But I don't think I have any use for him. So Taj Gibson, trade him to the Bulls. Uh, we can get a draft pick for him from the Cavaliers. They're going to give us a first round protected pick. Um, I, wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I don't know if Kyle Anderson's worth a first round pick. I will come back to that uh, from the Cavaliers. I could see maybe the Cavaliers making a little bit of sense. So I'm going to go back to Cavaliers. And like I said, a first round pick might be a little too much. It is a lighter protected Milwaukee pick. So, I mean, it is very heavily protected. But I would, you know, I wouldn't mind just taking a second rounder off your guys' hands. And Kyle Anderson for a second round pick, maybe. I mean, that's a somewhat decent value. Maybe even another second, like a later future second. Let's see if they'll take this. They do They do agree. So, we get uh, two seconds for Kyle Anderson. Not too bad at all. And uh, now, uh, let's go ahead and look. Okay, so now, do I want to... Let's see how much money we have. We have... 39 million dollars so we are we're on the cups of making the playoffs and there is one player i do have in mind that i kind of want to just go ahead and make an offer to 
So there's a lot of young players that we could just go after real quick. I'm not going to get Conley, obviously. Cousins not going to happen. Montrez Harrell. I like Jonas Valanciunas for now. Kyle Lowry. Pascal Siakam. Buddy Heald makes sense to me to off throw an offer too. So I'm going to go ahead and throw an offer at Buddy Heald. Uh, let's throw an offer at Jalen Brown as well. I think that makes sense. So let's go ahead and throw an offer at Jalen Brown. And uh, let's throw an offer at... Who else could we get? Uh, Jabari Parker. Karis Laver, you know, could make a little bit of sense as well. Kelly Oubre Jr., Alex Dade, Fred Van Vliet. More senior. I mean, do we throw an offer at Karis Laver? I mean, B minus three point shot. Uh, he would just be another ball handler next to uh, John Morant. So, you know what? I wouldn't mind getting him. So let's see. I really want Buddy Heald or uh, Jalen Brown mostly, though. So we do get Buddy Heald, which I, you know, I kind of like the idea of that, except at other offers. So. Let's go ahead and get Buddy healed, guys. I think he'd be a nice nice backcourt mate next to uh, John Morant. And, uh, you know, the Kings may not ever let go of Buddy healed, But, you know, if we threw enough money at him, and depending on the Kings situation, maybe they're like, no, nah, man, we can't match. Most likely that wouldn't happen, though. But like I said, for me to win a championship, I'm going to have to be somewhat unrealistic. And I don't think that was so, you know, too far out of the realm of possibility. So if you guys are going to critique that, that's fine. But let's go ahead. Let's see what else we can get. Taco Fall. Myers Leonard, Aaron Baines, uh, Ivan Robb. I wouldn't mind bringing back Ivan Robb. I think he's a you know a decent bench player at this point. So I'm going to sign him as well. Ivan Robb and Buddy Heald. Uh, let's get Utah wannabe as well. Um, okay, I don't know. what Did I get Ivan Robb back? I hope I did. Let me see. Did I get him back? Uh, yeah, he's back on a one-year deal. So I guess whatever. I signed him to a one-year deal. Not too crazy. Brandon Clark, Jordan Jackson. Small forward spot's good. And then, sh you know, the shooting guard spot's good as well. But Utah wannabe, where was he at? He, uh, okay, we can get Kabuckalo, which Kabuckalo did have some nice uh, games for the Grizzlies, but I'm going to move on from him. We have a lot of uh, bird rights, honestly. Melton, I'll go ahead and sign him for some depth. Then we'll go ahead and sign uh, Kabuckalo. You know, I'll, I'll sign Kabuckalo as well. And we'll sign um, Utah wannabe as well. So let's go ahead and give out these rest of these contracts. Kind of fill out the roster a little bit, and uh, that should be good. So you two, I want to be with Tanabe. I know I probably have said it wrong this whole video, but I just finally corrected myself. So yeah, that's uh, that's you know what we could kind of expect. Buddy Hield's gonna be a very nice addition. Um, I'm liking that a lot. We definitely have a nice group of small forwards and a nice group of centers. So yeah, I really like our roster a lot. I think it looks pretty good, and I think from a realistic standpoint, we've stayed in that you know kind of uh, area. But other than that, guys, this is a you know not a bad roster, a very young developing roster. But my goal is to win a championship. So if I have to go three to five seasons, I'm willing to do that. I usually don't do that in these videos, but I'm probably going to go three to five uh, seasons in every one of these videos, hopefully. That's my plan anyway. We'll see how that goes and, uh, you know, we'll roll with that. But for now, if it doesn't end up, you know, doesn't end up going very well and you guys don't like that too much, just let me know and I'll, I'll stop that. But for the training camps, let's go ahead and uh let's see what we can go ahead and give this to let's give dylan brooks some training camp uh some untapped potential let's give uh uh what else we got josh jackson let's go ahead and give josh jackson some untapped potential as well i'm expecting i'm expecting uh you know some good things from josh jackson i think a change of scenery could very you know very much help him out a lot so a nine man rotation john Morant, buddy heel they want to start josh jackson um i would rather start dylan brooks but you know what i'll trust the coach here and you know i'll let josh jackson start jaron jackson jr Jonas valanciunas Brandon Clark, Grayson Allen, Zeland, and Brandon Brooks all off the bench. I mean, that is a very good bench. Utah, you two, uh, Utah Watanabe, Ivan Robb uh, is only on one of your deal. Bruno Caboclo, DeAnthony Melton. So, I mean, we have two players, two slots I'm going to send to the G League. I'm going to go ahead and send uh, you two, uh, Utah Watanabe there. And I'm going to send, let's send Melton. No, we can't send Melton there. Uh, can we sign? Maybe we need to sign another free agent to do so. So, Let's sign to somebody that's not going to get any minutes. I don't need anybody too crazy. Let's go and get Alfonso McKinney, who might be the Warriors starting small forward uh, this upcoming season, which is kind of wild to think about. Uh, Melton or um, Bruno Kabukla? I'm going to go Melton, DeAnthony Melton. So we'll go ahead and send him there. Simulate this whole season. Let's see what happens. And I'm hoping, you know, maybe we can make the playoffs with Buddy Heald uh, starting next to John Morant. Let's go ahead and look with the super... Uh, Three star rating. If we go to seven seconds, we go to three and a half. Balance almost goes to four, it seems like, but uh, seven seconds. I guess we'll go to seven seconds and we'll change our coach to, you know, seven seconds. But other than that, guys, I'm going to simulate this whole season and let's see how the season goes. Guys, okay, so once again, we did not make the playoffs. We actually had the same record of 38 and 44. So as a GM of the video, I'm currently evaluating the situation and saying we're getting so close to making the playoffs. We're gonna have a lottery pick this time, so let's see what our pick ends up being. We end up getting the 10th pick overall. Number 10 is not too bad. 
Uh, our head coach will stay the same. Trainer, uh, let's see if we can get uh, a better trainer if he's available. Yeah, uh, we can get three on tap potentials instead of two. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and go for him, sign him, and then go to the draft. And like I said, we have the 10th pick overall now. So I'm looking at this, evaluating the situation and saying, what can I do to put this team over the top, right? So Jonas Valanciunas is looking like a pretty good trade candidate. Uh, let's see what the player stats were looking like though real quick that way I can kind of you know evaluate it even more So we had 24 from John Morant. So John Morant still doing his thing Buddy healed had about you know 17 points per game Jaron Jackson here with 14 Jonas Valanciunas is with tw you know 13 So I'm liking the point guard and the shooting guard obviously I think that's fine I like the power forward spot as well with Jaron Jackson jr So I'm looking at this and I'm saying the small forward in the center spot could get a little bit better I do like Dylan Brooks and Josh Jackson. I think Josh Jackson is going to be a free agent this year. I'm not sure how much money he's expecting. So I'm looking at this, and I think we need to make a trade, guys. I think we're going to have to go for a big trade for a center or a small forward. So Jonas Valanciunas is going to be inserted into a trade, and let's see what we could get out there. So this is what I was talking about. I said a center and a small forward, but I'm not going to get Kelly Oubre or Marcus Saul. I don't think that makes a lot of sense. Marcus Smart at the shooting guard spot, Rubio, Justice Winslow, Harrison Barnes, Terrence Ross, Kyle Lowry, Isaiah Stewart, and DeAndre Jordan, Blake Bleasley, TJ Warren, and Sabonis. Um, this answers both. Oh, actually, this kind of addresses both issues here. So we get TJ Warren and Sabonis. We trade a 10th overall pick. TJ Warren's on the last year of his contract, and Jonas Valanciunas, or don't, Sabonis, has just recently signed a big deal uh, with the Pacers. And we all know that the Pacers are going to be addressed with the question whether or not they want to trade Miles Turner or Sabonis. So this could make some sense here. Might come back to this. Uh, Derek Rose, Clint Capella, and Daniel House. Derek Favors, Jay Crowder, Stephen Adams. Stephen Adams makes sense too. 27 years old. I'm not sure how much better he is than uh, what's his name. But And then Hassan Whiteside and the Blazers makes somewhat sense. But this checks all the boxes. This trade. T. Warren and Sabonis. They're not like... Now, this isn't the greatest trade in the world. I could probably get like a guy like Andre Drummond and bring him here. But we could get Sabonis, 25 years old, and T.J. Warren, who are kind of on the same time frame as buddy healed right now uh Sabonis is a little bit younger tj warren's one year younger so the 10th pick and we get both these guys guys i mean i i don't th i can't think of a better trade so i'm gonna do it we're gonna do that trade and i think it's gonna work out well for us i really like it a lot so liking that trade a lot and now we can skip over the draft because we really don't have a major pick here so i'm gonna go ahead and do that rookie signing they sign uh jaden Lidi, and i don't know who that is gonna accept all of my offers of course and then qualifying offers Josh Jackson, Ivan Robb. Of course, I'd love to bring them back, but if I can't, you know, no big deal there. Um, as far as our salary cap table is concerned, we have negative $14 million. Uh, Josh Jackson's is $17 million cap hold. Alfonso McKenzie. So uh, we really can't do much of anything. Uh, John Morant and DeAnthony Melton. Tyus Jones um, is a 79 overall, but we could use him in a trade. I like Melton a lot, so I might keep him here as the backup. Uh, Buddy Heald and Grayson Allen's good at the shooting guard. Small forward spot. We have a lot of small forwards now, so we could either trade Dylan Brooks, Kabuklo, um, Jordan, Brandon Clark, and Jaron Jackson. So we could, you know, have Sabonis be a center piece, a bench piece, and go for a really good center, or we could have TJ Warren be a, you know, a bench piece and go for a really good small forward. So we still have ammunition to make a very big trade, even after the Sabonis and uh, TJ Warren trade. So I'm gonna go and go out on a limb and sign Josh Jackson real quick to his big major deal and do a sign and trade with him, I think. I think that makes the most sense. So let's go ahead and get him. Hopefully, we don't have to do the stupid one year. They don't glitch and give him a one-year deal, and they don't. So good. All right, now, I kind of want to use him as ammunition in a big trade. Now, who I'm going to get, I have no idea, but let's just look around the league real quick and see what kind of players are available. So um, Jimmy Butler, 31 years old. Doesn't make a lot of sense. I don't really. I want to kind of get the you know get a player that's on the same time timeline. As some of these players I do have on my roster, LeBron, uh, Terrence Ross, you know, Luka Doncic would be nice, obviously, but you know, it's probably going to be impossible. Miles Turner, Brandon Ingram, you know, he would be, you know, if uh, he was actually good in the simulations on 2K, he'd be a very good um, a partner, but I don't think, or a very good selection anyway. DeRozan, 31 years old, not going to do that either. Miles Bridges, um, Sergi Bach, Andrew Wiggins, guys. Andrew Wiggins, no, nah, I'm not going to do that either. McCollum. Uh, the Warriors, Clay Thompson, 31 years old, and the Wizards, we got Hachimura. So, I mean, I'm not sure if there's really anybody out there that's going to increase my starting small, you know, Otto Porter, 28 years old, definitely going to be a very nice floor spacer. Um, do I just keep Josh Jackson? I mean, we have a lot of depth where we got. So, point guard, so we, like I said, we have the ammunition to make a big trade. Now, I don't know what I want to do here. 
I guess I'll make it an ammunition to make a big center piece or center trade. So, I mean, that's what we'll go for. I'm going to look around the league for a center because I don't think I can find a very good starting small forward that I don't think I can, you know, for a player that I can get realistically. Go Bear is 29 years old. Maybe the Jazz, they did lose, uh, what's his name? Uh, and maybe give some pieces that fit Donovan Mitchell's timeline. So, Go Bear, 29 years old, be a nice veteran to bring this team. I might come back to that one, honestly. Vucevic, uh, DeAndre Jordan, Nikola Jokic probably wouldn't be. Andre Drummond, maybe Indiana, or wow, or wait, the Pelicans have Andre Drummond. Uh, and Zion, I was about to say, I was about to say, why do the Pistons have Zion Williamson, but they don't? And then the Pistons have Drew Holiday, which isn't a crazy trade to think about. I could get Andre Drummond to bring him here. The Drummond or Gobert. Let me see what we got. Aldridge as well. Stephen Adams. Conte Towns obviously would be very nice, but we can't bring him here. And then Joel Embiid would be nice, but we can't bring him here. Uh, Wendell Carter Jr. Marcus Saul. So, I mean, it's between Gobert and Andre Drummond, I think. So, Gobert's 29 years old. Andre Drummond is a little bit younger. So, I think it makes more sense to go for Andre Drummond. And the Pelicans still have a very young team. So, yeah. Andre Drummond does make some sense here. So, we could, they want Buddy Heald. The bonus during Jackson Jr. So they definitely want a hefty uh, return, but I'm definitely not going to do this kind of trade. So Drummond, we're going to go ahead and throw him in there. And then let's go uh, Josh Jackson because we're going to do a sign and trade with him. So Josh Jackson. So 10 more million dollars needed in this trade. Uh, let's see what else we're going to get. So let's throw in there. Um, Tyus Jones, $8 million. So we need about one more million, one million more dollars in this trade. Uh, you two, Yuta Watanabe is, you know, maybe a good selection or no uh what's his name where is dylan brooks as well um 20 let's go utah watanabe let's see if they take this for drummond straight up no they don't how about we offer a future first rounder they don't agree how about a couple of seconds as well okay we get offer one first and one second for andre drummond and uh that was just kind of a big retool of our roster so maybe this just gets us over the top i've tried to be somewhat realistic in these trades so if you guys have not agreed so far i do apologize but I've tried my best. I'm going to go ahead and simulate to the end of next season, though. And let's see if this team can finally break through the hump and make the playoffs. Instead of being in the lottery, we are in the playoffs this time. And John Morant makes the All-NBA first team in his third season, I think. Uh, I think this is his third season uh, in this video. And then uh, other than that, here are the teams. We had nobody on the All-Defensive first team from our team. Anyway, but now we look at we are the third seed in the Western Conference facing a Russell Westbrook. Thunder, I'm sure, because Westbrook hasn't officially been traded in real life just yet. But we had 25 points from John Moran, 11 assists, 2 steals. Uh, Buddy Hill did his thing with 17.7. TJ Warren with 14.7. Jaron Jackson Jr. with 14. Drummond had 12. So, I mean, this team is looking very, very dangerous, right? I mean, this is a very good team. So, let's see what the Thunder are looking like nowadays. Obviously, they probably did not trade Westbrook in the video. Uh, let's see. They have Westbrook, Stephen Adams, Galen Hart. So, basically, they kind of have the same roster. They did add, uh, oh, they got Josh Jackson. Uh, probably in that, oh, I traded Josh Jackson to the Pelicans, right? So, yeah, okay. And then Josh Hart is an 82 as well. So, let's go and see if we can beat the Oklahoma City Thunder in the first round. Hoping to win a championship this season, guys. We have the roster to do it. We're up 1-0, but uh, we're up 2-1 now. Can we go up 3-1? We do. And can we win in five games? We do. And now we're going to be facing the Utah Jazz or the Los Angeles Lakers, which it ends up being the Jazz. I almost took Rudy Gobert from them, but I didn't. They have Donovan Mitchell, Nikola Mirotic, who I can't tell if he's playing or not. It doesn't look like he is, but he's a 90 overall for... That is crazy. Nikola Mirotic should not be a 90. They have Anthony Edwards, though, man. That's uh, that's kind of scary, not going to lie. But let's see if we can beat the Utah Jazz now. Uh, they're up 1-0. Please don't lose. Please don't get swept by the Jazz, dude. Are you kidding me? We're down 3-0. So, all right. Let's see if we can come back and uh, maybe come back in this series and uh, win this thing. And uh, we're down 3-0, but we could come back. You know, it, you know, it's not crazy. 101 and 113. If we can make this team blow a 3-0 lead, dude, there, it, you know, that'd be absolutely just insane. Let's see if we can keep doing it, though. I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, retool these minutes, and let's see if we can. Okay, we, you know, it's a pretty, you know, somewhat of a close game, and no, we're gonna lose here. 108 to 126. So I don't think I'm gonna do much to this team. I'm going to simulate one more season. Probably just gonna do one more season. Simulate another season. Just gonna retool. Probably not gonna do anything to the roster, honestly. Skip, skip ahead, and let's see if we can get back in the playoffs and uh, win a championship. Because, I mean, this team is looking really good. We just got beat by the Jazz, which wasn't good at all. And uh, the Rockets win the championship. So let's see if we can simulate one more season, and let's do this thing. All right, guys. So in the making of this video, Russell Westbrook just got traded to the Houston Rockets for Chris Paul and draft picks. So 
Uh, this video is going to be pushed out. So you guys probably won't see this for maybe a couple more days. So this video might not be uploaded till Sunday. At this point, I'm not going to scrap the video because there's no point in doing that because I just recorded the whole video. So I'm not going to waste that. But there's no reason to upload it earlier than a Russell Westbrook, which is obviously very big news right now. So we're going to go ahead and finish the video here. Simulate this season or simulate the playoffs real quick. And I'm going to have to record another video right after this. Uh, I think I'm going to do the Thunder though. We'll see. But uh thunder side of things because i mean i've done plenty of russell westbrook rebuilds uh lately so i don't want to do it again but let's go ahead and just simulate uh these playoffs real quick and let's see if we can win a championship that'd be absolutely amazing so we start out uh 1-0 2-1 on the phoenix suns can we go up 3-1 we do not uh 4-1 okay we do beat the uh, golden state Warriors, which is awesome or the phoenix suns i should say i'm scrambling man my head is turn turning right now dude i, I that that news came out of from, from out of nowhere dude i don't know even know what i'm I don't even know what I'm trying to say right now, man. My my words are slurring and everything. We might make it to the Western Conference Finals, and we do. We're facing the Portland Trailblazers. If we could actually win a championship right here, right now, that'd be amazing. We're up 2-0 on the Portland Trailblazers. 2-1, please. 3-1. Can we make it? 3-2, 3-3. And we win in seven games and are facing the New York Knicks. We're up 1-0. Uh, they are up 2-1. Please don't. Okay, 2-2, 3-2. Win championship. Let's go, guys. In my first rebuild that you guys won't see, I did win a championship, so we're on a very good start. John Morant is your finals MVP. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Stay tuned, of course. We're going to be doing more of these realist or these new look rebuilds, realistic style. So uh, this is Crushables, and I'm saying peace.